Hey everybody, Catherine King here and ready for another unboxing. So I drove down to L3 Waxy Wonders today and for those who don't know, um, it's in Oregon, um, as am I. So it's about an hour and 45 minutes to drive down and pick up my wax. I think in the future though, I'm not going to drive down and get it because um, in, in this, I'm going to have three videos. This first one is going to be, I got the large box, large mystery box. I'm going to unbox that. I also have um, a ready to ship order and I have my very original, very first order ever from L3 in, in a pre-order or the, yeah, pre-order. So I'm going to do it in three separate videos. Otherwise this thing's going to be really super long. Um, so I just kind of wanted to let you know that, but I think in the future I'm going to just have them mailed because I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for this stuff until I had the ability to drive down and get it. So let's not take too long. Um, it's already been a minute. Let's get started. This might take a while. Today it's just regular Diet Pepsi. Um, on our road trip, I, we stopped at a Safeway down in Junction City. And um, yeah, they didn't have my, my soda that I drink. So. so it's just regular Diet Pepsi instead of the Pepsi Zero. AJ's on the floor. I have no doubt he'll be up here shortly as he always is. Huh, these are the ones that dissolve. I don't know if you knew you get them wet and they dissolve. They kind of taste like rice. I didn't think about this. Because there's peanuts in the box. Alright, so um, when I first opened the box, it is seriously filled to the brim. I don't even know if I'm going to have enough space on my desk to put everything. Um, oh, let me, so let me tell you. So when I was, I drove down there and I told Jennifer that I was coming, um, cause she's not always open on Saturdays, even though her hours show Saturday. Um, it's always best to let her know cause she might be pouring or any of those things, but oh, gosh, who else has allergies? Goodness sake. So anyway, I drove, we drove down and I let her know I was coming. Um, she was the only one there, so I got to go in the back. So in the front of the shop, it's like this really cute little um, chic boutique type thing. And the second you walk in the door, it just smells so, so beautiful because that's where she, behind the curtains is where she also pours. I had to drive home with just this, and I just could smell it the whole drive home. Could you imagine working in a place that smelled like beautiful wax all the time? Oh, it's so lovely. But anyway, I got to go in the back and I got to see she's already um, starting to do her pores. She was doing some bunts um, and it looked like she had some, maybe some bitty bitties. And then over in this one area where they usually do all their shipping, she had, oh, 50 molds maybe um, all laid out. They were not filled. But it's what she like let me pull this out does her puppy packs or you know the little molds that's that is in that room and that's also her shipping room so all the shelving is usually filled when she's doing a, a pre-order or even a restock those shelves are usually filled and and i was like you know jennifer you pour obscene quantities of wax it is just so amazing she goes well i always worry i'm not going to have enough can you believe that she actually thinks about us and she's worried that she's not going to pour enough. I was, I don't know. Jennifer is definitely uh, my favorite vendor. Um, I have some others that I like, but she's my favorite because she just, she pours such a selection that there truly is something for everyone. Um, so anyway, that was really a lot of fun. I'm glad I was able to, to do that. So in the top of my box, I got some airheads. I love airheads. I got another spoon because I got some, um, oh, this is my mystery box. So there must be a scoopable in here. So I got a spoon, my sticker of the day. So I have some wax bins, not these, these are my scentsy ones. Um, but they're under my bed. It makes my bedroom smell really good. But anyway, I take the stickers and I put them on the outside of my bins. So this one is, there is no elevator to success. You have to take the stairs. And sometimes the stairs aren't easy, are they? Sometimes you wish you could just get on the elevator and then end up where you need to be, but sometimes you gotta stake the stairs, you know, and take them one at a time. And hopefully by the time you get to the top, you will have learned what you needed to learn. And um, you might find more success in 
and getting there that way than just taking the elevator or the easy way. So, anyway, just kind of made me a little philosophical. All right, so let's take these peanuts off. And I should have thought about this. Let me move a little garbage can here closer so I can take the peanuts off. I'm doing my best to hide my shirt. It's a Scentsy shirt. But I had a sweatshirt on and I was getting hot. I have my fan going. Um, but I can't go change my shirt because my husband's not feeling well. So he's laying down right now. Um, so uh, it's not something I usually share, but my husband has lung cancer. So um, there's some good days and there's some bad days. So anyway, he's in laying down. Oh my gosh, you should see this quantity of stuff in here. This is crazy. I did ask her if there, you know, if she ever does boxes that are like just bakery fruit. And she did say that, that um, that's what she's kind of pouring right now. In, or that's what's going in her mystery boxes now is more bakery and fruit. Here, let me, let me set this down here. I'm going to move my camera and I want to show you this. Look at this. It's filled to the brim. Filled. Let me get you straight here. There we go. Filled, filled, filled. Oh, let's hope I have space. You guys ready to get started? So some of these now oh I'm excited about oh, I get excited about things. Um I am hoping that there is going to be a lot of fruity and stuff in here. I don't do clean and fresh because it does tend to give me a headache. So while I might think that something smells really nice and it gives me a headache, it gives me a headache. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, it's just an unfortunate part of, of who I am. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to clear off. This is uh, just kind of an all-purpose desk in here. It holds my makeup on this side and my computer and everything. But All right, let's get started first one that I got so excited about because I've been wanting to smell this and actually I have kind of a blend with this in there see it almost does it anyway Oregon autumn and as you know I live in Oregon oh okay oh so this is a scoopable so see when I squish it okay uh, it's fresh it is definitely fresh but it is really nice I might put it back in these warmers back here um, the blend I actually got, um, I got it for my daughter. It has the Oregon Autumn and Seattle Rain. So we live in Oregon. My daughter lives in Seattle. So she moved up there a couple years ago. Um, ooh, this one's up. I'm trying to think. Maybe I'll try and do these little scoopable ones that are on top. Um, this next one is Blue Sugar, Pink Sugar, and Sugar Cookie Dough. And another scoopable. Ooh. Okay, so... Blue sugar and pink sugar, I think, aren't those like a, a perfumey or something? Oh, that smells so good with the sugar cookie dough. I should have a piece of paper here where I write down blends that I like. Hmm. You would think in my office I would have paper, but I uh, don't. All right. Next one. 16 candles. I don't know what this one is. Fruity? Actually, it will make the video a lot longer, but. Do, do, do. Since she doesn't have her scents just in a, you know, in a regular list. I guess I could do it on the computer, too. Scents. Scent descriptions. I Honestly, I wish they were all in one instead of house blends separated from scent descriptions. Um, okay, 16 candles isn't under just regular scents. And my internet's slow here, the joy of living in the country. All right, so 16 candles, just a white wax, birthday cake, sour lemons, blueberry cream, and marshmallow frosting. Mm. Oh, actually, oh, I can smell the blueberry. Oh, that's nice. This video is going to be um, hella long. Sorry about that. All right. 
So on top here, we have a bunch of these little guys. So let's do those. This one's called Rainstorm. Oh, that smells like something that would be really nice in the bath. Oh, and it's this, you should have seen some of her molds. Um, she has the puppy paws, which I really, really like. Um, cause you know, I have my dogs are actually out eating a bone right now. Um, and then she has little, uh, wiener dogs, which are so cute. And this one's a little pig. Rainstorm. Lovely. I like it. So fresh scent. Suits, uh, Satsuma Pink Lemonade Salt Water Mermaid. So I think this one, wouldn't this have been maybe in the Salt Water Mermaid um, sampler set? Oh, actually, that's nice. Oh, that really strong on the Satsuma. I don't, I smell the lemonade. I'm not sure what the um, Salt Water Mermaid supposed to smell like, but it's really good. I like that one. I was worried about the salt water on what I would think of it, but I really like that. Okay, next. Um, oh, I know I'm going to like this. Strawberry Pound Cake and Cuppy Cakes. And it's a pink flamingo. Oh, that is so good. I like cuppy cakes. So you can get that hint of the strawberry pound cake and then the cuppy cake. For me, that... I like having something mixed a little stronger with strawberry pound cake because I'm not a huge strawberry pound cake person. I like it mixed with things. So this is really good. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. I think I may have ordered that in one of my bags. So my other stuff came in these really big bags. And then my pre-order is in a very giant box that takes two hands to carry. Ooh, that's nice. Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Is that a fruity one? It smells fruity to me. If I looked at the scent notes, um, it would take make this video extremely long, so I'm not going to do that, so I apologize. Just know that she does have all um, all of these scent notes on her on her website. So, Okay, Snuggle Pink Sugar and Blue Sugar. So Snuggle, I would assume, is going to be the, the fabric softener. Yep, smells just like Snuggle, snuggle Fabric Softener. This would be really good in like a laundry room. Uh, my laundry room isn't set up for for wax. I have um, a Scentsy pot in there, but uh, I, don't, I just don't know how I would go about doing a, a warmer in there because of how it's set up. That though is, is beautiful. And actually this is a really good way to get Snuggle because I'm allergic to Snuggle and Bounce. Um, they make me itch. So nice, I like it. All right, strawberry, blueberry, lucky charms. Now we know I'm going to like this one. Oh, so good. And this cute little rosette. Oh, that's lovely. I just keep looking and seeing what else is in here. Um, raspberry sugar, and it's a cute little heart. Okay, so this one, I smell raspberry, but I also smell like linen or something. So is raspberry sugar a linen? I almost think I can smell it better in the bag. I don't know. Is there a fresh in that one? I think so. I don't know. I like it. Salty bitches at the beach. Who's ever been a salty bitch at the beach? So... Uh, if you want to, tell me where you live down below. Obviously, I live in Oregon. Um, I live about two hours from the coast and about an hour from Mount Hood. So we have snow and skiing and we have the beach. So it, it's, I don't know, it really is a nice place to live. But don't come here because our borders are closed. You know, we don't allow anyone else here in Oregon. Oh, okay. Fresh. Fresh and linen. I swear that's what I'm smelling in this. I'm not sure if I would like that one. Well, no, don't get me wrong. I like it. I don't know how I would react to that one. We'll see. I may give some away. I may not give some away. Um, my 24-year-old who lives in Seattle uh, really likes fresh scents. All right. 
Sea Island Cotton. So I'm assuming this is going to be a linen scent. It is. It's in a little pig. It is a linen scent. It is nice. Um, it might be that in these warmers back here that I do some of these scents. Uh, maybe not out in the main area. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. Excuse me. Uh, Sugar Cookie Royale. I've always wondered what this smells just by itself. All right. Oh, that is so good. I heard she had a really good Sugar Cookie Royale. Oh, that's good. That is really, really good. Graveyard. Looks like it's in a straight um, shape of a strawberry. It reminds me a little bit of like cider mill. Uh, just a touch cinnamony, but not bad. Isn't this just the cutest little strawberry? Yeah, it reminds me a little bit of cider mill, kind of like an apple -y, cinnamon -y kind of, of scent. Oh. It's another, yeah, another um, Snuggle Blue Sugar Pink Sugar. Uh, Flash Gordon. I think it's just a square. Or a rectangle. Fruit. Fruit, fruit, fruit. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice, pretty, fruity scent. I'm trying to... There's you know, other stuff here on top, but I want to get to all these singles first. Oh, my pig lost its head. Coconut water mango fizz. My, my pig's been decapitated. Oh, that's nice. So that's what fizzy water tastes like. Or smells like oh that's nice I like it coconut water mango fizz I don't really smell a ton of mango but that's really good I like it dread pirate Roberts it's in a flower a little rosette well there's some fruity to it but there's other stuff in it too. I can't tell. I don't know. It's really good. I like it, whatever it is. Oh, blueberry sugar and strawberry sugar. So is this sugary or is this going to be cologne? Sugary. Yeah, that's sugary. Oh, that's really nice. Arrow, another pig. Linen. This is a linen. I, I think this is um, a clean linen scent. That's what I smell. And I like how these are all a bunch of wax samples because then that means she's making us some new wax samples. Isn't that exciting? Stick that with my other piggies. Blackberry funnel cake. Cotton candy frosting. I know I'm going to love this one. Mmm. Yes. And it's just in a, in a square. I like just the simple square ones too. That one is really nice. She does, It's funny, she has a little sample bag in here. Uh, don't get burnt. Ooh, do you think this is like a sunscreen type scent? Hmm. Yes, and... It also smells like laundry. Maybe almost baby powderish. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, I have another rainstorm. Gingham, gingham Beach Nights. Okay, that smells fruity to me. Nice, I like it. Seaside Serenity and Vanilla Lace. I think Vanilla Lace, isn't that supposed to be some kind of a perfumey? Yes. I can smell... Yeah, I, I think I can smell some kind of perfumey scent in that. 
Uh, is that it on the samples? No, a couple more in here. Then we'll get started on the bigger packs that are in here, okay? Um, smoked vanilla and vanilla sandalwood. I don't know if I'm going to like this one because I'm not keen on sandalwood. Yeah, um, that's not my, it's not my scent. Um, and the last little one is strawberry pound cake, and we all know I like bakery. Yeah, see, and the strawberry pound cake, the one that, oh, wherever it went, um, the one that she had mixed with, I have all these ones on here. The one that she, oh, here. Um, with the cuppy cakes, I like the one with cuppy cakes a little bit more because it's a little touch more sweeter bakery. Alright, so we have a puppy pack um, with blueberry cobbler, cotton candy frosting, and Danish butter cookies. Ooh, that's going to be delicious. Blueberry. Oh, I just smell blueberry. I love blueberry. Love, love, love blueberry. This one, Peeps, Rice Krispie Treats, and Cookie Therapy. A four-pack flutes. I don't remember what's in Cookie Therapy. That's really nice. But I think um, this one would actually be a really good mixer with um, a, ra a nice deep raspberry. I know down there there's some raspberry whip. Um, yeah, I think that would be really, really good. I'm like totally covering my little mouse here. Um, oh, I found another little sample. Boysenberry Lemonade. Oh, so that's boysenberry. That's really nice. Ooh, I like that. I don't know if I ordered any boysenberry. And I love, love anything that's lemon lemonade. Should we open the samples? Since they're sample size? Haha, <laughs> get it? Sample size. They're samples. Sorry for the hair today. It is what it is. Alright, in my sample bag, it's like doing its own thing, we have strawberry, raspberry, guava, margarita, a couple little cute little shapes here. I think what I smell the most is like the margarita scent. That's really nice. Oh, and I can mix that with the the peeps, the rice crispy treats, and cookie therapy. Uh, all right, so this one is Huckleberry Boardwalk Molo Clouds. I'm not a huge, don't shoot me, but I'm not really a big, huge Boardwalk Molo Cloud person. I mean, it's okay. It's just not my, it's just not, it's not my scent. I don't even know what's in Boardwalk Molo Clouds. I'll be quite honest. Oh, it's probably not one of hers, huh? Doop de doo. Eh, doesn't matter. All right. The last to sample in my sample set: sea salt. Oh, sea salt air shave cream, fresh picked strawberries, and rosemary mint. I mean, curious what shave cream smelled like. Oh, I don't actually smell shave cream. Isn't this cute? It's like a little, I don't know, baby pie. What I seem to smell most, I think, is the rosemary mint. I really like that mix. That one is nice. I really like that. All right. These are giant shapes. Hawaiian Paradise. Oh, this one's so cute. This is an owl. Okay, so I smell... Let me take this out. Isn't that just the cutest? I smell um, coconut and pineapple. Maybe like some kind of a sunscreen. Not like, you know, sunscreen has a scent. Um, maybe some like 
dark body oil. That one's nice. Okay, this is a bunt. Zucchini white bread, uh, zucchini bread white elephant exchange. I know I'm going to love this one. Mm. Okay, so I know some people like zucchini and bread and some people don't. I love zucchini bread. One of the first vendor waxes I um, warmed was a, just a sample size of just zucchini bread and I loved it. And then of course the white elephant exchange is like the, excuse me, soda, powdered sugar and, and those kind of things. Oh, yep, soda and hot dogs. That's what I had for lunch. Gotta love those Costco hot dogs. Oh, oh, this is cool. Look, there's, it's a bunt, but with, um, those things in it. Oh, gosh, that's so good. Now it makes me wonder if I ordered that. Oh, I'm going to love that. That needs to go on my order list. Gosh. I have so much still left to go, and we're at 26 minutes. I am so sorry, guys. All right, on Wednesdays, we wear pink, and I think that's a Mean Girls reference. Oh, Chunky Bunt. That's what it is, like a Chunky Butt, but a Bunt. Chunky Bunt. All right, so it's another Chunky Bunt. Oh, and this is Frosted, Pink Frosted Animal Cookies, and today is October 3rd. That is so good. Um... You go Glencoe. Um, it's cocoa butter, cashmere, cashmere cedar, and today is October 3rd. All right, I may not like this one. Actually, it's not bad. I thought maybe it'd be um, too perfumey with the um, the cashmere cedar. And I don't know if you can see, they're hard to get out, but look at that chunk. Isn't that cute? I think this is actually what she was pouring today. Actually, I like it. It's a bit fresh. I may warm it back here first and see, or I may gift it to someone who I know loves these scents. Um, today is October 3rd. So October 3rd is my beloved grandmother's birthday, and she passed away a few years ago at Christmas in a car accident. I don't know if I've said that before, but so this, I, I know it's a movie reference. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know if I've ever seen Mean Girls. But it means something to me because it was my grandmother's birthday and she was my most favorite person in the whole wide world. So, okay, so today's October 3rd has Palo Santo in it, I think, right? That is really, really good. And I think I got a sampler of this. Exciting. All right. Oh, this oh, this is so cute. This looks like a bar of soap. Orange goji berry. Oh, I love goji berry scents. Look at this. So it's like a bar of soap. Mmm, that is so good. Okay. It's actually a bit tart, I think. Mmm. Here, maybe you can see a little better. Isn't that cute? Lotus flower. This doesn't make you just want to go put it in the bathroom. Mmm, that was really good. Oh. I'm trying to be methodical about my box. All right, cotton candy frosting, fresh picked strawberries. I know I'm going to love this one. Mmm, my gosh, that is so heavenly. So this is one of her cloud cakes. And so was the, uh, today's October 3rd. Oh my gosh, people. That is heaven. I just want to go put that in my warmers right now. That is so good. Um, another owl, sex on the beach. Isn't that a drink? Oh, maybe this is a drink. Pineapple. That's the first thing I smell, pure and simple, is pineapple. Oh, that's lovely. I don't think I've ever had the drink. Not a huge drinker. Freya. Oh, this one's so cute. Oh my gosh, let me show it to you. Oh, yeah, not my scent. 
It smells like aloe water and cucumber t from Scentsy to me, but I don't like that scent. But look. Uh -huh. I don't know if it's supposed to be a porcupine or what, but we used to have a hedgehog. So that reminds me of a hedgehog. Mm. Not keen on the scent. It's a fresh scent. It's, it's lovely. It's just not usually one that I like. But if that's a hedgehog, that's so cute. Our hedgehog's name was Ari. Liliana's Lullaby. Um, okay, so we know what this one. This one's a laundry. Oh, wait. No, no, no. This this isn't laundry. Liliana's Lullaby. Is this, um, is this laundry mixed with, like, that shampoo? Or not shampoo. Baby. Uh, the, the purple baby wash stuff. Oh. That's a nice fresh scent. Probably not something I would normally go for, but I really like that. I think that would be really lovely in the bathroom. We're almost done with these kinds of things. I think I have one more, and then we're off to the next category in my box. Crazy what all you get for $100 in here. Oh, I'm so excited. It's another owl, and it's zucchini bread. Straight up zucchini bread. Oh, oh you know, this, this totally brings me back to mid-October because he, here in Oregon I don't know how many of you guys live in Oregon but here in Oregon it is hot through September um, and then maybe into the first week of October it turns a little cooler and then like one week I swear it's like clockwork one week before Halloween boom cold freezing rain not freezing but rain 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 and then it doesn't stop raining until July 5th oh my gosh that is so good. But I love zucchini bread. This would be perfect in October with, um, oh, maybe a little bit of that cider mill one. Uh, or I don't remember its scent. I'm sorry. Um, but more of that cinnamony something to go with the zucchini bread too. Kind of in, give you that kind of Halloween-y October vibe. Oh, so, so good. All right. Evenings at the Hamptons. Oh, that one's so cute. Evening at the Hamptons. Ozone Salt Water Mermaid. Okay, this is not going to be my scent, but I know this one who it might be perfect for. Yep, she'll love this. Lisa, this is for you. That is beautiful, and she'll love it. She likes hippie scents, not hippie. She likes hippie and clean. She is going to love that. All right. Um, I have four puppy packs. All right, no, I already did a puppy pack one. All right, beach glass. That's nice. I like it. Fresh. I almost smell bakery in it, but mm, I really like that. Vanilla, uh, vanilla ice cream, apple cinnamon, coffee bean. I love anything with coffee bean. Mmm. Oh my gosh, guys. This and zucchini bread. Yes. Oh my gosh. Look at it. It's a cute little flip flop. So it's another puppy pack. Oh my gosh. That's heaven. Jennifer, I love your coffee bean. Okay. Next. Not for me, I don't think. Um, cashmere, cedar, palo santo. Oh, cashmere, cedar, palo santo, smoked vanilla. Nope. Not for me. Um, Casey, this, this seems like one for you. I, I, Casey, I think you would love this one. It's not for me, but it has that Palo Santo and I know how much you love that. Okay. And the last puppy pack is blue sugar, zucchini bread, and warm vanilla sugar. So it's another zucchini bread. You know how I feel about zucchini bread. Okay. I do smell the zucchini bread, but what's blue sugar? I, honestly, I, I don't know why I take them out because I do smell them better this way. Is it kind of perfumey? Whatever it is, it's good. I also think I smell that warm vanilla sugar. It's so cute little puppy pack. Look how full that is, too. All right, so she made these little things. I don't think I've ever seen these. Um, 
so I honestly don't know what she calls these. I don't know if it's a pie or what. So this one's sugar cane vanilla. So I have a few of these. Yeah, that's just um like a sweet vanilla. So I don't know, are these going to be, these might be single scents. Uh, coconut sandalwood. Yeah, I'm not a sandalwood person. Hmm. But, Lisa, it's for you. Next one, strawberry champagne. Hmm. That's perfumey. Yeah, um, I smell shop with strawberry, but that's perfumey. Um, but I think Lexi would like this one. My daughter, Lexi. It's like, who doesn't have a daughter named Lexi, right? Oh, my wish. Oh, um, that's laundry, huh? Yeah, um, that one's not for me. That's laundry. Hawaiian Blast. Oh, that's nice. That one's like fruit, fruit, fruit. Like citrusy kind of um, tangy kind of fruit. Oh, that's nice. I like that. With like this one with like uh, a little bit of just pure coconut. Is she pouring that in a trade tart right now? I'm trying to think of her recent pour list. That might be in a trade tart right now. Um, apple clove butter. This one might be a, oh, this one might be strong for me, but hang on. Yes. Oh gosh. Honestly, do you know what this smells like? Oh, it smells like, um, atomic fireballs, you know, the, oh, so if you've ever had an atomic fireball, this is exactly what that smells like. Hot, spicy, burn your tongue cinnamon. That's exactly what this smells like. But if I have this mixed with my zucchini bread just a, a just a dab of this mixed with this and I love atomic fireballs poofies hanging out in her bed all right then I have a bitty bunt um a bitty betty bunt and oh Christmas cookie therapy guys you should smell this I think it smells like cinnamon. My bad. Oh, oh, wait. Does that have cinnamon in it? Hi, Bella. Bella came inside. Bell, Bell. Bell, Bell. You want to smell? What are you seeing? What are you seeing? Just don't look at the cat and she won't swat you. Where's your bone? Yeah, I think that has cinnamon in it. But that's really nice. I like it. Where's your bone bells? All right. Raspberry fizzy soda. And actually, I was just talking to her Friday, I think, asking, or Thursday, asking her about fizzy scents. Um, gosh, I watched you all day yesterday. Anyway, you love fizzy scents. So I wanted to get some fizzy scents. Now I know why you like fizzy scents. Oh, that is really good. Blackberry fizzy soda. Um, blue sugar, pink sugar, sugar cookie dough. Oh, okay. So I have that in a little guy and now I have it in a little scoopable. Yeah, that is fresh, isn't it? And then I have a large scoopable. I put a spell on you and guess what? I ordered that. I don't know what's in it. All right. Last two things are, just think, these are $13.50 a piece, and I have two of them. All right, Bum Bum Salty Sea Air Copper Coconut. Is this going to be um, fresh? Actually, it's not bad. It's actually Boom Boom, sorry. I'm a makeup junkie and I know it's Boom Boom. From Rio de Janeiro. Boom Boom Crane. 
And actually, they made one that was even stronger than the regular yellow Boom Boom. Um, and then I think they made maybe one a bit softer, but I had a subscription box to BoxyCharm or something like that. And, and I got a sample of the Boom Boom Cream and it was so strong. A beautiful scent. Beautiful. Massive headache. I mean, killer massive headache. But this, I really, really like this. It's not, it is fresh. It's not bakery. It's not fruity, nothing. But it is lovely. I am not giving that up. Last one. What did we get? Mistletoe Mallow and Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. I really need to get over my aversion to Boardwalk Mallow Clouds. Oh, no. I like this. All right, this is gonna, this just think, okay, so this is mistletoe. So this is the epitome of Christmas. Oh my gosh. So Scentsy has a uh, Christmas scent that I love. Um, cranberry, cranberry garland. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Um, this is right up there with it. This is so good. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to melt that um, during the holidays. And just think, it'll sit and cure for that amount of time. So you should see. Let's see if I can unhook you here. Look at this. Look at all of this. And then my, my box. Look at all that. So that is what my trying to hook you back in sorry and not make you crooked so that's what my box looked like um yes there was fresh in it but it was an i'm sorry it was an amazing box i i need to order this i was going to say you need to bottle this but sorry bottled anyway this was amazing. I am so glad I ordered this. Yes, some scents, yes, they weren't for me. Um, but I would say some of, like this one, this zucchini, the zucchini bread white elephant exchange, the flat out just, oh, the flat out just the zucchini bread and yeah, the strawberry champagne. My daughter Lexi's going to love that. Um, she likes it when I send her little gift boxes, I guess you could say, of wax and, and different things. Um, this is amazing. And I know that she's doing some more of these mystery boxes. She said they're going to be more bakery and fruit heavy. Get one. You need to get one. This is amazing. And it really does kind of help branch you out to things you might not, you know, normally try. I mean, cr Christmas cookie therapy? I don't know. It's eggnog cookie therapy and a hint of gingerbread. Um, I, I should really look at the labels for the description, huh? Um, I may not have bought it because it has the gingerbread in it. I don't know. But you guys, if she offers the mystery boxes, and I know they sell out, and they're amazing. And Jennifer is one of the most amazing people. You tell her, like I told her, um, my husband loves Georgia Peach. I'll, I'll um, hold something up to him, and I'll say, Ooh, smell this. Tell me what you think. He goes, it's not Georgia Peach. He loves Georgia Peach. He is nothing but Georgia Peach. He I swear, he tolerates the rest, but he's nothing but Georgia Peach. And I so today when I was talking with her and I said, uh, she's like, so if there's anything you, you know, you like pour or whatever, let me know. And I said, Georgia Peach. I'll take anything that's Georgia Peach. Because last time I only bought one trig bar of Georgia Peach. And then she went through two sets of bad um, smelling Georgia Peach. And actually it was really funny. She said it smelled like your dog's farts. I know that feeling. She actually got to meet uh, my dogs today. I took them with me um, on my trip. But uh, and Mike is quite imposing. She's she's a very large Connie Corso. Well, she's not very large Connie Corso. She's a standard size Connie Corso. But anyway, um, I I'm like I know what bad dog parts smell like. So so if Georgia Peach smelled like that, definitely send it back. And she bought it from her backup vendor, and it's she says it's just beautiful and lovely and she's going to be pouring some more dirt peach so i am so excited because i get to get that for my husband and he'll tolerate the 
the rest of my wonderful scents. And actually down there in the box, um, I got him, I think he, I asked her to pour George Peach, um, like a 75-25 with uh, pie crust. I thought that would be a really nice, um, like a, you know, a peach pie. Uh, we Here in Oregon, we have something called Fred Meyer. And I, so Fred Meyer is a Kroger company. So if you have a Kroger brand company by you, it might be the same. They have his absolute favorite peach pie. I can't even make, I don't make pie. I bake, but I don't make pie. My pies turn out like crap. So we get in that. And um, so he is peach all the way. My shampoo is peach. You know, he, he's a peach guy. So if I could get him some more peach, then that's what I'm going to get him. So anyway, thanks for coming and hanging out. And uh, one coffee scent. I think I got more down there, though. I just, I seriously just want to sit and look through all these and sniff on them and the sex on the beach, I'm going to have to look that one up. But anyway, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. This is going to take a little bit to upload, but I'm going to try and get it up today. Today is the 22nd. Um, but I want to get it up so you guys um, can see kind of my thoughts on some of these things. Considering she does have a restock coming up the 28th, I think. Um, and she she just pours and pours and pours and pours because she just wants to give and give and give to us exactly what we're looking for and what we need um i really need to give this huckleberry boardwalk clouds a boardwalk mala clouds a chance anyway i keep saying goodbye i haven't said goodbye because i like to talk anyway bye guys let me find my mouse uh, among my mess anyway bye guys